So this may sound like a stupid question, but where do you get a majority of your viewership from? GD News. <laughs> GD News, unsurprisingly. Um, <laughs> I guess it's like a majority of what you upload, isn't it? Shit, let me take a look. Yeah. Every now and then I do other stuff, and like sometimes they do good, and sometimes they're just fine. Yeah. Oh, you did like a whole bunch of the 2.2 hype stuff. Your shorts are doing well as well. Yeah, I decided to try out shorts just for fun, because Lemon Cake, I was talking to him. Oh yeah? On like, his strategy. But I didn't want to like, do like the whole, you've been trolled times 20 thing. <laughs> so I, I took my own approach. Oh, that's cool. It was that's fun. Cool. I was talking Lemon Cake about uh, stealing a video of his. I think, it was, <laughs> I think it was a recording of Lost Lock for that horror level video thing I was making. <laughs> and um, by the time he got back to me, the video was published and he said, yep, it's all good to go. I'm like, thank God, because I think you're like three days late to the party, guy. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Lemon Cake's a cool dude. Yeah. Dude, he's like 450k on YouTube. It's insane. Yeah. Probably more by now. Yeah, 479,000. Jesus. And what does he do? He just uploads shorts. Like, oh, that's neat. You've been trolled. Oh my god. Violent. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he gets some flack for it, but like, I, mean, I guess hey, it doesn't matter got... when you're getting millions of views per yeah, video. Yeah, he's, he's got the viewership, dude. 2.9 yeah. million views. Damn. In 12 days. And he already uploaded that. He, he just re-uploaded it. That's nuts. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what? Good for him. Chase Bag, man. Chase Bag. Bags. Shout out Lemon Cake. Speaking of chasing bag, is that why you got into YouTube or was that a happy add-on? Uh, well, I've been making videos for a long time. I actually have... All right, this is a big secret. So, oh boy. my old YouTube channel, I used oh. to upload... And there's no edited videos. I don't know how, except for a few Roblox kids that are really bad. My first Geometry Dash video was... Well, like seven that. years ago. Damn, this, seven years. This is my first Geometry Dash video. Man. This level got deleted off the servers for some reason, but I'm pretty sure I still have a copy. That's nuts. So, like, the first dimension was the purple dimension, mm -hmm. and then it's the steampunk fire dimension. That's nuts. <laughs> then the ninja dimension. The ninja dimension? Yeah. That's nuts. Because you have a star. crazy imagination. How, how old are you again? <laughs> I'm 18 right now. And oh I my god, this, so that I puts was... you at 11 when you started this. Yeah. Oh my Dang. god. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to show Bad. you your first level. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. More trucks. Feliz Navidad. Yep. We still ain't watching GD News. 24 uploads, eh? Do you have an mm -hmm. old account anywhere with older levels? I that seems to be a common account thing. I uploaded something on, but it's not, like, older. Eesh. I, like... When I first got the Steam version, I made a new account for some reason, and like I stopped using it for like a week. But there's a level mm. on there. That's neat. Oh, so that, that right not there is the creation looks. of this level. But what? And this is okay. Hold on. This is my favorite song back then, because I was like a Death Corridor fanboy back then. I see. So this is a level to test your speed. Okay, yeah. Is it meant for looks? Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. I had to had to come up with an excuse as to why there wasn't good decoration. Hmm. Okay, but like. So, if it's meant to test my speed, like, I don't know if this is news to you or not, but this is like a fixed speed <laughs> game. Like, you're you're on rails, right? <laughs> like, am I just supposed to hit those as opposed to not hitting those? Like, I hit the top one as opposed to the middle one. Is that yeah, the goal? I, better way to put it would be jitter click challenge rather than test her fast. I see. Well, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Okay, well, my jitter click is pretty crap. good. Actually, There's a light bulb to show my amazing ideas. That's a cool idea, man. Oh, and here's the final challenge. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Right at 94. <laughs> you know what? That, that that tells me the top path is broken. That tells me the top path totally broken. Easy as balls. Alright. We gotta do this now. Yeah, this level's legendary. Some it is legendary. Friends, like, joke around about this level. <laughs> I can see why. Okay, so if it's a speed test, we gotta hit it with the speed test. Come on. We're wasting oh, time, snap. boys. Oh, snap. Oh! Oh, he didn't expect it. Take oh, a path. Snap. Pick a path. Away. Pick a path. Ah! Okay, perfect. <laughs> No Ooh. way. Oh, okay, bro, I now hold the, the speed the run. Legend. World record. Look at that. One coin. That was a world record. You gotta leave a comment doing, for that. Do them real dirty like that. I win. Wait, did you see the most recent comment? While pooping. Oh well. Good job, Biopost. Yeah. Shout out. That, that's that's tough. That's like walking and chewing bubblegum, guy. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, facts. So, how did you discover GD then, I suppose I should ask? Because, like, we established now that it was seven years ago that you discovered it, but how did that come to be? Was it another yeah, story about in... the kid on the back of the bus? Actually, no. So, I was in fifth grade, and I'm pretty sure I saw, like, a video on my recommended from Dashy, Dashy XP. And he was, like, raging at, like, the main levels, and I was like, dang, this is pretty funny. And then I saw that Geometry Dash costed money, so I was like, 
I don't know, I ain't playing that. And then mm. Geometry Dash Meltdown came out, and I was like, heck yeah, I'm playing that. And then I got like, I started like slamming my iPad on my knee, like all over Christmas break, trying to beat like Viking Arena, and whatever the levels Damn. were. And yeah, it was a good time. I was like, dang, this game's pretty hype. So I ended up begging my mom to buy the full version, and yeah, the rest is history. Nice. So what made you want to start YouTube then? Hmm, let me look at my old channel real quick. I just like used to watch YouTube and be like, wow, I want to make videos. Oh, like, yeah. I guess it's just that inner creator in me. Wanted, like, my first video, I have even more old videos, but they got deleted. But the oldest one is from, like, mid-2014. Damn. I'm playing Skylanders. I have my mom film the TV, and my, my friend and I had a 1v1. I won, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you spoiled it. <laughs> Damn. But, yeah, I tried, like, so Minecraft videos, a, but my old computer was horrible. Oh yeah. So it, they, they, all the videos were very low quality, but it was fun. No, it's exactly what it's about, though, right? It's just having fun. But I, yeah. I, I think it's unique, like with GD's situation, because like yeah, you can compare it to Mario Maker and stuff, but like you know, having such like a diverse artistic outlet, and then also having you know YouTube to make content about mm -hmm. said artistic outlet allows for a lot of crazy creative shit to come out. Yeah, so. there's so many possibilities with Geometry Dash content. Like, there's a lot of different stuff you can do, mm -hmm. different ways to succeed. Like, you're doing this, uh, like, in, what is it called? In the creator? In the editor. In the, in the editor. In the yeah. editor. Yeah, and then I make news videos, other people make YouTube Reviews shorts, stuff, other people's yeah. make documentaries, other people complain about extreme demons, etc. Oh, extreme demons. You're complaining about extreme demons. Oh, yeah, I've always been a big fan of extreme demons. Oh, I, I know, buddy, I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. I think everybody knows. Yeah, remember your old video where you had, like, my exact icon? Oh, yes, that's right. That was a weird uh, parallel. It's a weird parallel for sure, but I I think that's more. It's definitely coincidence, of course, but it's not even the right. I colors. mean, yeah, it's funny. It's still it's still goofy though. Absolutely, it's <laughs> yeah. super goofy. It just I don't know. Good taste is good taste, man. Uh, colors are a bit different on mine, but it's not horrible. They're still green though, right? Yeah, they're still green. I don't know. I guess I uh, I relate to you on the starting YouTube just because it's a fun thing. I just I, I know people do it strictly for monetary stuff. Just figured yeah. to ask about that. So, so, like, all my main channel, like, the one I use now, Vortrox, mm -hmm. I uploaded, like, a bunch of weird videos in the beginning. Yeah. And I, like, I did it, like, I uploaded stuff with the intent of, like, actually, I forgot I made this. My first edited Geometry Dash video was in 2017. 2017. Will Shaggy overcome Michigan? Oh. Okay, let's have a gander, then. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, oh, my God, it's the, the, voice. It's the, the text to speak voice. Yeah. I had a high voice, and so I was too somebody. nervous to, like, record my ah, voice. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I uh, was thinking about doing that for a bit, especially my own videos in 2017, and I thought, you know what? Not only is it just not me and everybody else is doing it, but I don't know where to find a website that does a decent job at vocalizing stuff, so I just, you know, killed that aspiration to do that for a while. So first, yeah, I only figured it out because I was watching, 60. like, MLG video tutorials, because I oh, used yeah? to eat those up. And the, you oh know, they would have a voice, yeah, like, those MLG Quickscope. MLG Quickscope. Like, uh... Um, <laughs> why'd you get that so spot on? <laughs> I am not sure. Maybe it's because I have seen so many of them. Um, I, I used to watch a lot of Pyrocynical, like, those MLG Teletubbies and all that crap. I, yeah, was, I was big into that. Big. Hell yeah. What about your moderator status? How did that happen? What, what, how did you feel after being promoted? Oh yeah, so I like made it a goal to try to make myself like stand out and do mod work to get mod. Mm -hmm. And it was actually part of another goal at the time. So I was like beginning to find a passion for acting. Oh yeah? But I would like doubt myself a lot. And I'm like, oh, becoming an actor is so hard. I'll never be able to do this. Mm -hmm. But like... I kind of set the goals side by side, so I was like, if I could find a way to become a moderator in Geometry Dash, I think I could find a way to become an actor. Yeah. And I ended up actually becoming a mod, and I'm like, dude, I could do anything. I felt <laughs> I felt like God, like not to be egotistical, no, but, no, like, but like, I could do anything I want. No, exactly, and that's what it's all about, man. It's all about mm -hmm. self-confidence, <clears throat> if you believe it. So is that your aspiration, then? Is that what you want to do when you're uh, like all said and done through school or whatever? Yeah, so I, I I finished high school and I don't I don't really want to go to college because I feel like it has nothing to offer for me personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. No See, I've been kind of slacking slacking with the whole acting thing. I've been putting a lot of time into YouTube. Going beyond moderator, what are your uh, current creating goals? I actually just finished a crazy layout. I just uploaded on my main channel. Actually, yeah, I saw. And I was like, this is really cool, and I actually feel inspired to like decorate it. So I'm gonna give it a try. Very good, very good. Some decorating after like a year. Hey, well, that, that's what makes it fresh, right? If you stay away from it for like a year, 
like what, what I found is like people that come back to the game after a few years, like, or even just one year, they bring like a fresh spin on something because while you're living in it, it's like the meta doesn't change at all. It's like, oh, the yeah. feature tab is just this. But, you know, if you wait a year and you come back, you you offer like a nostalgic kind of spin on stuff. It's cool. Yeah, that's actually my first rated level of Boombox. That's why it's one of my favorite levels I made mm. still, because I didn't play for like a year or two leading up to that. And before that, I had never finished a full like rate worthy level. So when that came out, I was like really proud of it because it was like really different. It got three star rates in a row. I was also Damn. proud of that. I think it got the most star rates in 2021. All right, we gotta give this a rip. Or maybe 20. Oh, I've seen this. Of course, I've seen this. Yeah. So this this part was different originally, and I actually liked right, the old yeah, version yeah. better. Like, I oh, wish yeah? I could revert it. Did you like delete a part? Is that what you're saying here? Yeah. Like this part used to look way different. Oh but yeah. I I thought that mod said they didn't like it in a stream, so I deleted it, and I regret it. Oh yeah, it's shitty. That's a Club Penguin like CD thing. <laughs> you're not even <laughs> wrong, man. Oh yeah, that's that's kind of old. Oh bow tie. I don't have bow tie. Yeah, he's, he, I actually know him in real life. Oh, we had wow. each other friended on Geometry Dash before we found out we went to the same school. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah. I live in BFN Canada, so like, the only person that plays GD that I know is like, my resident grizzly bear, and he's not any fun to talk to. <laughs> Gotta love the Canada life. Yeah, Great absolutely. White North. Yep, Great White North, where everybody's four hours away. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Polar I'm Bear. Love my, love my man, Polar Bear. But, um... Yeah. He stopped by and we did, uh, we, we spent a, a week together, IRL, and it was fun. I had a week off. Really? Yeah, and it, it was crazy though, because I was thinking like, you know, because I, I had to drive three hours to the nearest airport in order to go see the guy and like pick him up and drive him back. So I got off work at three. I was working in a fuel tank all day. And so I smell like, oh, fun. I smell like jet fuel and I get in my car and I drive for an additional six hours. I do a six hour round trip to and from Toronto. And, um, I pick him up and I'm like, you know what? This is still more viable than seeing like any Canadian creator because yeah. this guy flew in and he made he made it to a major city. I, I could go see him like that, but everybody I know who plays GD who is also Canadian is like a fair piece away from me. How do you stay on top of the news? Because like, surely you must get like just flooded with, oh my God, this level was verified messages as soon as like something comes out that is, you know, even remotely close to the top 10. Yeah, I normally just open Twitter a lot because generally Twitter's like the perfect news source. There's so much information on Twitter. It's very useful. And I just like look around in Discord servers and people say stuff or people DM me. And I just like the YouTube recommended sometimes. Very, very technical research. Very technical. Yeah, there's not much to it. I also have a news suggestion channel in my Discord oh, and that's helpful too. I can imagine, especially if you got like people scouting for you. Yeah, they're not like, I mean, some people will like send stuff and it's like a big help sometimes if I didn't already yeah. see it. I don't know, like I, I figured that you'd follow like big verifiers and things such as. Yeah, like sometimes I, if there's like a big verification going on, sometimes I'll like join their server for like more immediate updates. Mm. Like when Firework was like being worked on by Trick, I was in his server. Oh, I see. And like, cause they would always ping like as soon as he got like a new record. Neat. And then, yeah. like, you'd be right on top of it. I try to keep my news updated as much as possible since I can't, like, upload every day. No, exactly. Your uh, videos average about, like, five minutes, four minutes. Do you prefer it that way? Or is it just because of the news format? Would you rather make, like, more stories? Uh, yeah, it's usually, like, I used to have them a little shorter sometimes at, like, three minutes. But now I try to do, like, four, five, six minutes for a little bit more of, like, a experience. No, I get you. It's the Vortrux experience. Yeah. It's like Hendrix, but not music. Have you ever just witnessed something on Twitter and gone, oh my god, I need to make a GD news right now? If, if oh, so, like, what absolutely. is that? Is that, the, uh, is that a majority of your content, or is that just a portion of it? Yeah, so, like, as much as I would like to have a consistent upload schedule with these, like, sometimes stuff just doesn't happen. No, exactly. Like, right. uh, like there's been times where I've gone, like, several weeks with no uploads, and it kind of sucks. One time I went a couple months, but that was for personal reasons. Sometimes I'll be on Twitter, like, a second something happens, and I just start screenshotting everything I can put in the video. <laughs> and then I write the script while I'm, like... Like, when I was in high school, I would, like, write the scripts in class, because I wouldn't be doing anything sometimes. Oh, yeah? And then I would get home and immediately edit it so I could get it out at a good time. Are there uh, any other games that you play? I mean, I don't really play games at all. I, I honestly barely even play Geometry Dash, unless it's, like, for content. But before Geometry Dash, I had a couple of Team Fortress 2 videos. Yeah, I saw that uh, earlier, the unusual unboxings. Yeah, I had one of those. I got lucky one time. Nice. Yeah, th th those videos never really went anywhere. Oh, yeah. As fun as they were to make. I uh, I feel you. I have a uh, video. So my father told me to go outside and record these frogs in the backyard. And so I did it on like my iPhone 5. <laughs> and it got 1.4k views. It was nuts. 
but um, oh my God. This, this is an inside joke with my friends because like I was nobody like nobody at all I had maybe 10 subscribers and this video blew up a majority of those views happened like when it came out like the algorithm caught it and it just fed frog sounds to the good people of Canada that is so funny it's just it was only that could happen shit. now the weirdest, the weirdest things go viral. I just do not understand the algorithm Exactly, sometimes. right? Do you find your views have a lot of uh, polarity, I guess, with, like, the sense of do some take off or others lack? Yeah, so, like, with GD News, I honestly don't understand what makes them get views and whatnot. But, like, sometimes I could pretty, like, predict when it's going to do better than others. Like, when Acheron got verified and there was, like, a 2.2 sneak peek, I was oh, like, yeah. yeah, this video's going to do good. And then as for, like, any other content that's not GD News, it's kind of, like, it's a, it's a risk. Like, my most recent edited video is Explorer's a Bad Level. That one actually did well, which I'm happy about. I think that a lot of people like the uh, analytical side of YouTube, or at least they're getting into it. And it feels like everybody and their mother's starting to step in and do it. So Yeah, there's a lot of these documentary-type channels, and a lot of them are honestly, like, carbon copies of each other, which is unfortunate. Like, I wish more people would try to be unique, yeah. but... It's still cool to see people make that type of stuff. No, exactly. I, I'm glad it's an up-and-coming thing because, you know, you say a lot of them are carbon copies, but, you know, the carbon copies are what allow, you know, the people who walk to run, so. Yeah. Once they find their foothold, I think we're going to have a lot of good content on our hands, especially once 2.2 comes out. You've made how many 2.2 sneak peeks? Three, uh, 2.2 sneak peek videos in a row. Did you catch any flack for that? No, I honestly, no. I kind of thought people would be like, clickbait, but, like, even, I don't, I try to, like, not do any clickbait. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no- nothing lies. There's ten things you probably missed. And then is Explorer's a bad level. Mm -hmm. The sneak peek reaction analysis, that- that thing, I didn't get any flack for it. People were joking about the thumbnail, and I think- I-, I it's funny. <laughs> I remember looking on Twitter and saying, like, everybody's sub feed is blowing up with 2.2 reaction yeah. stuff. I was- it's kind of cool to, like, be lumped in with that, though, because there was, like, the big one, YouTubers like Juniper and Aeon, and then there's, like, me at the bottom. Yeah, you're- I'm like, yeah, you're, that's uh, me. You're, like, middle of the row kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're not you're not A on air, but you're certainly not Joe Blow World GMD making poor <laughs> analysis videos. That's for sure. Yeah. So it's a neat perspective, I suppose. Do you have any uh, ideas for other content you're going to be doing? Like, uh, do you want to do more analysis, long form stuff? Or are you doing more shorts? Yeah, I mean, the shorts is just an experiment. I honestly don't really think I'm going to make any more. Yeah, because like a lot of stuff I've done in the past, I did like I had used to have this series called Creator Analysis. Mm -hmm. I'd like to continue with that eventually. Demon history videos, those would be cool to make. I wanted to make a video about Noctifly, like yep. Geometry Dash's biggest scandal. Like, I want to, like, get to the point. My goal right, like, my game plan right now is to start making more documentary type videos. Yep. And, like, gain people's respect as, like, a creator of documentaries. Even though they're all about Geometry Dash right now. Yeah, yeah of course. And then, like, eventually... And, like, do a As pivot. my skills increase, I can start, like, trying other things. I don't that, know, I'm just... That'd be a pretty sensible idea. pivot, too. You're, like, the news anchorman guy, you know? The only thing you're missing is the weather. And in this section of GD News, the weather segment. Today, expect an overcast and um, a couple of new levels out by Overdefo and a new Juniper video in your subscription feeds. The overnight low will be, like, uh, low death by Crammel. Uh, I guess... <laughs> Did you make your intro and stuff like that? Yeah, the, the intro is... A, I don't even know what was going through my head when I made it for the first time. But you made like, it. Like, I was just... Yeah, I made it. Whack. I need to make an intro. Yeah. But I, uh... I don't have editing skills. Like, initially, when I was very young, I thought... I should make an anti-intro. And just, like, throw out my profile picture. And, like, a fart sound effect. And then I'd be like, yeah, that, that rocks. That rocks right there. Honestly, that's like a good strat because like now that I know a little bit more about YouTube, I realize the super the like the 15 second long obnoxious GD news intro <laughs> definitely probably drops viewer retention because some people will see that and be like, this is ridiculous. Watch something else. Mm -hmm. But like it's such a staple at this point. No, you, you like have to. It's a catchphrase in my channel. I, I, I refuse to get rid of it. No, that's, that's why. I have a level called Welcome to GD News. <laughs> Speaking of, how is that going? Two yeah, it's, it's going well. I'm still waiting on one creator to finish their part. Schnitzel, you better hurry up. Schnitzel. And then the end screen is working worked on by Tony. Tony named Tony. Nice. For my Mr. Outro, my plan is to play your level catalog until I die. And then oh my God. when I die, the video ends. All right, so we finished the first one. We got to get onto this one now. You got yeah. So if you die, the video ends. If I die, the video ends. Word. Oh Word. look, Lenny face. Lenny. Well, <laughs> and that was that was that. Thanks for coming out, folks. <laughs>